What's up, guys? Um, Miss Melody has been on my to blog list for a long time now, but unfortunately, the circumstances I'm doing it under now are really not happy ones. Uh, Miss Melody, if you haven't heard, has just passed away earlier this week. Miss Melody, of course, is sort of famous for being the first lady of Boogie Down Productions. Uh, very specifically, she was indeed married to Karis One, so that's not just sort of a rhetorical title. Um, she was down with them right in their prime, their heyday, in the very late 80s. You know, uh, you hear her voice briefly in, like, Jack of Spades, and she's actually credited for helping out with their clothing and their fashion on their early albums. But uh, it come 1988, 1989, she actually started putting out records, which uh, produced, yes, by Karis One and Boogie Down Productions, but also co-produced by herself. And actually, depending on whether you look at the album or her singles, the credits vary slightly in that regard. But she definitely at least co-produced everything, wrote her own stuff, uh, came out with a really solid album, Diva, in 1989, and uh, two big singles, uh, probably the biggest was this one, Wake Up, Wake Up, back with Live On Stage, Live On Stage is the one she had the video for, which was a fantastic track, uh, and the single features some extended mixes, so it's worth tracking that down. She's on the, well, as you can see right there, Stop the Violence Movement, she's on the Self Destruction track. Um, she appears on Edutainment on the Big Posse Cut with Harmony. Harmony is, in fact, her sister. Uh, Miss Melody is Ramona Parker, as she's known, because, she, of course, she was Chris Parker's wife, so she took that last name. But originally, she was Ramona Scott, sister of Pamela Scott, who was Harmony. Harmony was the other female MC of Boogie Now Productions who put out her album right around that same time. And that was a lot more sort of R&B-ish and kind of spoken word poetry, but her single Pound Cake was hot, and she had some other good stuff. Um, and they worked together on the Heel album. Uh, of course, Big Posse got Heel, but also I think a lot of people forget that Heel was an entire album. Uh, and so they did one other song together, and then Miss Melody had a solo track called Anti Ho. Um, but unfortunately, come the divorce of Miss Melody and KRS One, uh, both her and Harmony sort of left the scene for good, uh, which is pretty unfortunate because they're both talented artists. They both did some good stuff. I mean, I'm sure. A large part of that was losing, you know, the Boogie Down Productions uh, production team behind them. Certainly that's the story of a lot of uh, rap artists who kind of disappear from the game. Once you kind of lose the team behind them, they sort of disappear. But uh, certainly a shame that they didn't at least try to do something independently or to come back a little bit, because again, they did some really hot stuff. So, like I say, even though this is not the way or the time I particularly wanted to be blogging about Miss Melody, uh, I figured, let's do it, let's, you know, sort of celebrate some some of her material, do the one of the blogs I probably would have done anyway. So we're going to look at her first single, well, right here. The Sing All Night is the A-side and What Do You Do. This came out in 1988, before the album. But I'm particularly interested because both of those are just album tracks. Um, and one of them, in fact, is more of an R&B track. Like her sister, they both kind of delved into R&B somewhat. So I really wanted to focus on the one track, Hype According to Miss Melody, which is an exclusive track to this 12-inch. So Hype According to Miss Melody, like everything else, well not everything else, there were guest producers on the album actually, like Sam Sever and stuff, but like the majority of her stuff, produced by herself and Karis One, and again, depending to varying degrees, who has more production credit where you're looking. But when you listen to this song, clearly DJ Doc gets a lot of credit for it. It really sounds like, this is a real sort of very freestyle, off-the-cuff kind of song. It's maybe not her best song, like Live on Stage or something, which is a really killer track. This is more of a laid-back, you know, she's kind of kicking freestyle rhymes while DJ Doc is mixing. It sounds actually like maybe sort of an off-the-cuff mix. Um, it uses the bulk of the instrumentals. It's really kind of cool. Um, not, I don't know the actual record they're sampling, but like uh, Dougie Fresh used it on his remix of D.E.F., you know, the one that they had the video for. Um, it's been used a lot, but uh, it's just really kind of cool, subtle, you know, got a sort of almost beaten it kind of vibe to it. But then also you hear little subtle mixes of other records, you know, so other elements in there, like heartbeats in there and the introduction and stuff like that. So it's just a really cool track. Miss Melody is just freestyling, MCing. Um, Harmony does do some backup vocals on the single, but it's really just Miss Melody kicking it with DJ Doc. Uh, and every once in a while you'll hear some other records kind of come into the mix. So it's really cool. It's kind of laid back. It's really fresh. It's definitely worth tracking down. You know, it's, if you've got Diva, you might sort of feel like you've got the entire Miss Melody collection, because unfortunately she is one of the sort of many female MCs who kind of came out right around this time and only uh, sadly had like one album to their name. I mean, that includes like Anne Kiet, Big Lady K, J 
jiggy G, well maybe that one's not such a great loss, but you see what I'm saying, I mean it was really just a really tough time for female rappers to hang in there and have a career beyond just sort of one album, uh, and Miss Melody and her sister as well, Harmony, both fell into that sort of same department, but uh, so even if you've got Diva, you'll definitely want to track down this single. Again, the other two are just album tracks, so I'm not really going to bother playing you clips of those, but they're pretty good. Um, again, the single Nice is actually a little bit better. What Would You Do is a little too R&B-ish for me. Instrumentals for all three are also on the 12-inch, so that's a plus, and it's a nice picture cover with some really cool photos. So now I'll play you a clip of Hype According to Miss Melody. Hickory Dickory DJ Doc. Hickory Dickory DJ Doc. Hickory Dickory DJ Doc. DJ Doc, the psychers keep trying, but we're busting shots. My name is Melody, and what you get is rock. Hickory Dickory DJ Doc. DJ Doc. it just a short video just to sort of commemorate and celebrate uh, Miss Melody's music you know in this kind of sad time if you haven't actually got her album I absolutely thoroughly recommend you track down Diva as well as the 12-inch singles on Jive Records just like all the Boogie Down production stuff at the time was uh, and it's absolutely as strong as all that kind of Boogie Down productions material it's a really tight album um, and a lot of that credit definitely goes to Miss Melody it's not just sort of Boogie Down productions and whoever you know, it's definitely credit goes to Miss Melody for that album. She brought a lot to it. She brings a lot of her own unique personality to it. Even the way she sort of breaks down live on stage, you know, I'm not going to get too sidetracked. But Miss Melody, definitely a talented artist, definitely a sad loss. So, until next time, peace out.